Okay, hi, Phil Hillman here, and welcome to my studio here in the UK. Um, I'm sitting here, and today I'm bringing you a demo of this, the pedal you can see in the corner of the screen. It's called the Empress Multi Drive. Um, it's a quite a complicated pedal. It's basically three pedals in one, uh, and the three pedals involved are fuzz, overdrive, and distortion. You've basically got um, where my finger is there, that is uh, for fuzz, these two controls. And you basically got a gain control and a volume control for each fuzz, then overdrive, then distortion. And then you've got a filter at the top that's a, a low pass filter and a high pass filter or um, a centered position, you know, so, so both go through. Um, when it's on the um, low pass, it, it just affects the low frequencies. When it's on the high pass, it just affects the high frequencies. Um, so you, you could basically put a fuzz on the low frequencies, for example, and then a distortion on the high frequencies, or an overdrive on the high frequencies, or a fuzz and a distortion, both on low and the overdrive on the high. So you could have any combination that you want of those three. Um, they describe this as being a Swiss army knife of distortions, whatever that means. I don't think you could take the stones out of horses' hooves or anything like that. But um, it can certainly... Um, do a lot of combinations and get a lot of different colours of distortion. And uh, primarily the three distortions you get are overdrive, fuzz and straight distortion. Treble boost is the other one, but that's catered for as well because you've got um, not so much treble, but you've got a mid-range boost on the output section. You've got an overall EQ, which is high, mid-range, low, and then the overall output volume. And here you've got a um, a frequency which does the mid-range, which is vital for guitars, the mid-range, um, and that does uh, three different frequencies. So you've got 500 when it's there, 250 when it's there, 2K when it's there. Um, what I'll do, I'll start off showing you the guitar just clean. The clean signal just through the amp is this. It's just very... Well, it's as I started the demo off a minute ago. It's clean amp in a, in a live room with one microphone on it. Fairly neutral. If you hit it really hard, it'll break up. But not much. Um, so if I turn on now the pedal, and it's just the overdrive on by itself, you get you can hear a hint of dirt come in. Great for chords, kind of quite crunchy. And the EQ you've got on that, um, so you've got gain and distortion on that. If I turn the gain on that right up, you get an idea of how far it will go. Not mad, but. Um, on the output section, you can kind of make up for that as well. Um, and particularly, the one thing I didn't say is on the distortion side, you do have um, three modes. You have crunch, um, mild, and lead as well for the overall thing on the distortion. Uh, the other thing I should say is the combinations. When it's set to default, this is the factory default, you've got distortion or fuzz, distortion, and overdrive all together. But you can have those set inside, so you could have any combination of any of them. So um, if you wanted to go from overdrive to a fuzz by switching that pedal, you can switch that inside. If you wanted to go from a fuzz and overdrive to a distortion or a, a fuzz and a distortion to an overdrive, you can do any combination of those things and it should work out all right. Um, so that can be set inside. But for now, I just use factory default so you can hear what it's doing because we haven't got all day to do it. Um, so here we've got... I'll show you what the mid-range frequency does. So we're on the um, overdrive still here. And so this is the mid-range at 500. So I'll just sweep it here. You should be here. Oh, yeah. uh. Okay, that's the 500. Let's go up to the 
250, so I'll cut the 250. Let's boost the 250, fat out. And it's got 2k, cut it. And boost it. Uh, hop a little bit backed off from that, be quite nice, I think. So, on the short pickup. Uh, you can then maybe change the output volume a bit. So, you do quite a lot of tailoring just with that section alone. Um, you could roll off, the EQ is massively sensitive, you could add, um, roll off the low end completely on the output. You could roll off the, the, um, the high as well. Or mid-range. Take the mid-range out. Really skinny now, let's put the bottom end in. So quite a lot of variables, but I mean normally everything up or uh, two o'clock. The range going from ten o'clock to two o'clock is um, massively workable. Um, let's try something like that. I want a quite fat bottom end. Don't want too nasty top end. Want a quite nice bit of mid range. Um, Going to boost the mid range. I like my mids. Um, so I'm going to try this and on the, this pickup on the front pickup. <laughs> Tone, quite a lot of control over that. Um, I say it will clean up, so it'll do anything from um, fairly dirty in between. Let's try the combination of all three. So you can have all three, and what you can do when you've got all three, if you just want to hear the fuzz, you can always turn the other two off and just have fuzz, and fuzz will sound quite like fuzz. Um, <laughs> Itself, but you can then try. It. You've heard the overdrive already, so I'll have distortion now, and I'll have it on the uh, first of all. I'll put the distortion nearly flat out, about three quarters of the way around, and have it so it's on the crunch side of things. So. <laughs> Quite a nice tone, and let's put it to the mid side. Kind of the same, just a bit more, and put it on the lead. So that's kind of quite nice. It does the, the leading really nicely. Um, Let's put the output up a bit, cut the low. Um, I'm going to add into that now a bit of overdrive underneath. The overdrive, um, you can sneak that in underneath so it'll be even dirtier. <laughs> Let's try and a bit of sticking a bit of fuzz underneath that, so you get. combination of stuff makes you want to play. Um, so basically I think you get the gist of this, there's lots of combinations of lots of effects, um, 
and quite a lot of control over the EQ, the output, the mid-range, the high-pass, low-pass. Actually, I'll try that one more. The last thing I'll do before I go is I'll take the, I'll make it so that uh, I'll just have the, um, let's just have the, the one of them by itself. So I'll just have the uh, distortion by itself and I'll have it about three quarters of the way up. And what I'll do is I'll put the low pass filter so you can hear what that does. So you've got the sound you've heard before of distortion. Let's turn the, the low pass on now. You can hear that's just affecting the low end now. The, the top end has pretty much disappeared. So I'll put it back in again. Top end is there. And now um, turn it off and top end is only overdriving the bottom end. That's useful because if you were to then want to just affect the top end, you'd get this. So I quite like that, what that's doing on the top end. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a thick fuzz on the bottom end. So I have the low pass filter on the fuzz. Uh, bring the fuzz in. So you can hear that by itself. I just turn everything down so it's just the fuzz. So I've got that on the bottom end. Um, here's, the, here's just with the high part. So you, it's a lot brighter than, than that is. So we're going to have the fuzz for the bottom end and the overdrive for the top end. Let's put them both in together and blend them together. So I'll start with the distortion by itself. <laughs> So that's basically got a um, a fuzzy bottom and an overdriven top, if you pardon the expression. Um, and I can't think of any other pedal that does that, so that's a good enough reason, or one very good reason, apart from all the other ones I mentioned, of why it's worth having one of these. So check them out, and I'll see you in the next demo.